Hello viewers, welcome back. So in this tutorial, I am going to show you how to uh, make models for classifying images. So you can see, uh, I have downloaded my file from Kaggle and it is of 228 MB. So it will take some time to download. So download and then start. So uh, just I have downloaded my file out there and kept in a data folder. So this is the flowers folder and here uh, there are five types of flower tulip is one of them. So let's see some flower example. So this tulip out there and Here this is tulip. Now let's see some rows. So, so This is an image of rose flower Okay, so now uh, you can make a project folder and here you can keep the data and under data you can keep the flower folder and here will be the uh, five types of flower and now you can make uh, two file of pi utils.py and another my classifier.py okay and then begin with me so utils now I, it is blank I am going to write my code out there so start import ways import numpy as np import uh, matplot lib dot plot as plot and import cb2 and import pickle Uh, now write the data directory out there so it is under data so i am in project folder so in project folder under data then under flowers there are five type of folder so uh, and the name of the folders are the categories so just i am copying single line Daisy and sunflower and uh, tulip. So these are the five folders and these are the classes too. So make a data dict empty. Now make a function make data. So it will make data from the images here for category in categories a uh, particle place dot part dot join I'll give the uh, data data out there and give the uh, category out there so uh, it will make the directory equal to Say uh, data by flower, and in one iteration, it will make daisy, and in another iteration, it will make flower slash uh, ten billion slash rose slash sunflower in each iteration. Now, if the label out there, so label equal to so label equal to uh, categories dot index and give the category out there so if the category uh, is daisy so the index of daisy is zero so the label below will be zero out there okay now run a loop so for meet in or uh, in os dot list it uh, pass the path out there so it will list all the images out there image names out there now I want to make the image path out there image path equal to ways dot path dot join I want to join the path and the image name so 
so now I want to read my image so cb2 dot inbred and pass over there image path now try okay uh, let me show you one of the image so im show cb2 dot im show and pass out the image or uh, display name so give me the image or you can give another blah 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 so pass out the image now break come out of the loop and break come out of the loop so that i can see only one image so uh wait key give out their zero and cb2 dot give out their destroyed destroy all windows i got the error uh, i made a function but i did, uh, didn't call my function what a dumb i am so let's call the function uh, make data just and you can see this is my image and it is of daisy type so uh, i am loading my data successfully now let's making is working fine now i have read my image now i want to convert the color and uh, resize my image and make the dictionary of data so just make a try and give pass over the image equal to cb2 dot convert color cb uh, t color and pass out the image and pass out the, the uh, cb2 dot color and write out there bgr yeah bgr to rg since uh, the open cb read images through bgr channel and i want to uh, resize this to rgb now image cb2 dot uh, resize okay. so resize my image and pass over the image and give the size of 204 by 224 so i want to resize my image now uh, convert this image to a numpy array so numpy array and give out the image and give the data type as uh, numpy dot plot rd2 now uh, data dot happen give out their image and give out their the label make it list okay now okay just accept exception exception as e just pass now let's see if it's working fine so let's see the length of data so if the length is fine then everything is fine i hope now I want to save my data to a pickle file. So open uh, in the folder as power.pickle or you can name as data.pickle as you wish data.pickle and write uh, read the file as write mode then pick dot dump I want to dump sorry pickle dot dump so dump out there the data in the pick now pick dot close oh. so just call this make data function I'm getting an error so data dot p oh i have given it's 
so it is processing now make another function so that i can load this pickle file so that and you can see uh, it is printed out there 4323 so there are 4323 uh, uh, images and uh, there is a new file out there of data.pickle okay so now make another function load data pass out there uh, now I want to load my pickle file so pick equal to open uh, data dot pickle is right now uh, read mode now uh, data equal to uh, pick dot load yeah pick dot load and pass out there the picker there so pickle dot load pass out there the pick fine so pick dot close so I have loaded my file now shuffle my data dot shuffle pass out there the data now feature blank uh, levels blank okay fine for image level in data feature dot append uh, pass out their image to the image and level dot append the level okay. so levels okay Now I want to convert the feature into numpy array. So feature equal to numpy array and give out there feature and d type as numpy dot float thirty two. Then level equal to numpy dot array and pass out their levels and i want to normalize my feature so feature equal to feature divided by 255 so now all i have to do return uh, feature and levels Both. so i am done with my utils now it's time to create my model so here import utils uh, from utils i need to import a load data okay now import tensorflow stf import numpy as np import matplotlib dot pyplot as plot other things all the needed for now and another thing you can do yeah another thing you can do uh, from okay I'll be doing that later so let's load my data so feature I got feature and levels i got levels now equal to load data just run this code i'll get my features and now i want to divide my feature into taste and train data so right uh, right out there x train and x uh, x test out there x test and write out there Y train and Y test over there. Fine. Now I have to take help of train test split. 
pass out their teacher and pass out their uh, levels and keep the test size of 0 0.1 percent now i have to import this uh, train test split from sklearn so import sklearn uh, dot model selection Uh, import train test speed. Okay, so these are the things I need to do. So I got my train data, test data. So it's time to uh, okay. I have to copy my class function to copy this line and bring it here. Now let's create the model. So model equal to uh, so I am going to make input layer. So input layer equal to ta dot keras dot uh, layers dot input and give the shape out there. So my shape will be 224 by 224 by 3. So this is the uh, shape of my input feature and I will be passing this layer to other layers so I will be passing this layer to all the layers okay so I will be creating another output layer and through this input layer and output layer I can create the model so this is one of the techniques through which you can uh, make model through TensorFlow so let's do so so dot Layers dot layers dot conf to the be out there and give the filter shape. So I'll be using here thirty two filters and kernel size. So kernel size will be five comma five and padding. The padding out there. So padding will be same. Okay, I got padding and give out the activation. So we count activation. So activation I'll be using daily. Okay. Okay, done. Now I want to pass this input layer here. So pass this input layer and assign this one to another layer. So point one right over there. S one okay. Now I will be passing this con one to the next layer. So I got activation function. Now I got a uh, padding. I got padding. Same activation function. Really okay. Fine. Now second one I will be uh, right out there. Okay, you can write out there pool one equal to tia dot keras dot dot layers dot i'll be using max pulling so max pulling uh 2d 2d out there and pass out their filter shape oh sorry uh, pass out their pool size so I need to give the window size out there so it is 2 by 2 and rest of the things are uh, all the all now I want to pass this con 1 to this pulling layer fine now I want to make another con layer so con 2 and you can give any other name it's not matter layers and pass out there uh, conf to the and filter shape out there uh, will be 64 and give out their kernel so filters uh, oh sorry uh, yeah filters I'll be using 64 and give out their kernel size uh, 3 by 3 
yeah and padding i'll be keeping the same and activation function keep the activation of uh, rectifier linear unit and pass this full one to this layer so i'll go each of the layer passing the uh, previous layer okay. now i have to make uh, pool 2 over there so pool 2 equal to tf dot keras dot layers dot max pool 2d and pass over there pool size so pool size will be uh, 2 by 2 2 by 2 okay. and stripes you can give out the stripes so stripes equal to i am giving 2 by 2 so pass the previous layer out there so one two is the previous layer now okay now right out there font three equal to tf dot keras dot layers dot on to the pass out their filters and in this layer i'll be using 96 filters and kernel say uh, size equal to again three by three kernel size and give the padding same and give the activation function out there so activation is going to again rectify the near unit fine i got and now just pass the previous layer so pass the previous layer was cool too fine uh, and uh, i'll be needed another pulling layer so pull Three equal to tf dot keras dot layers dot max pool to the and pass out there a uh, pool size of two by two. So pool size equal to two by two and give the stripes so stripes equal to two by two. So I got three con layer, three pool layer. Now another another con layer. So this will be my last convolutional layer. So tf dot keras dot layers dot contrary and pass out their filters. So filters equal to ninety six should be fine. And kernel size out there. Give out there three comma three and padding out there keep the same 4 oh I have to pass this previous layer out there oh so activation equal to again value and pass this pool 3 out there so pool 3 and here I made a mistake I didn't pass con 3 out there this is one of the technique how you can make the model and there are another technique how we showing in another tier here so pool 5 so pool 4 out there so pool 4 equal to tier dot keras dot layers dot max pool 2d and pass out there pool size pool size will be 2 by 2 so this is the window and strides out there so strides equal to 2 by 2 okay now pass the uh, con 4 out there so i got con 4 let's check if i am wrong all right yeah so now i have to flatten my data for the reason tf dot uh let's say f ft1 equal to tf dot keras dot layers dot flatten and just give the uh pool 4 out there so pool 4 is out there now i want to use some dense layer out there so in one equal to tf dot uh, keras dot layers dot dense and use there 512 neurons 
and give the activation as rectify linear unit and pass the flat one out there and yeah now is the output so how do you go to tf dot keras dot since i have five class out there so i have to use five neurons and give the activation equal to soft force yeah. now pass dn1 out there boom so i made all the layers out there it's time to create the model so model equal to tf dot keras dot model and pass out there uh input layer and the out output layer so now it's time to make the compile so i'll be compile out there and give the optimizer adam Keep loss equal to sparse categorical cross entropy. Okay, and give out their matrix track equal to accuracy. Fine. So I got model now it's time to feed my model so model equal to uh, dot feed model dot feed and pass out there I want to pass out there the train data x train so pass out the x train and pass out there uh, y train the labels and the features and give out their page size so give it base size out there so i want to give 100 data each time and give out their uh equals so 10 equals should be fine now all i have to do model the save i want to save my model so that i can use it so my model dot five so everything should be fine so run the code so it's taking time so let's wait So it's around uh, 54, 6% around. So let's wait. Uh, in book 4, uh, you can see the accuracy is around 64%. Book 5, and around 66%. So if you uh, get any errors where uh, compiling my, uh, compiling the model, so you can try with there's a base size out there okay? so make the base size smaller ones if you have low GPU power currently I'm having around 80% accuracy five percent so let's wait now I am getting around 85% Accuracy is increasing and around 92 percent. I'm getting book nine. That's nice. And I'm around 90 percent accuracy. So you, can, you have to make sure that you do not overfit your model. Okay? So to making sure, uh, you have to check. You have to evaluate the model. So I will do so. Let's wait. And okay, I got uh, around 94%, that is 95% accuracy for test set, uh, train set. 
now i will be uh, loading my model for another pi file so let's make another file control uh, s detect right over there uh, detect dot pi now just copy up to here control c and control v now i want to load my file uh, model so model equal to oh, again i am doing wrong 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 so here i should give keras I'm getting yeah, I have to keep models out there. Let's see if I am doing oil now. Why text is So everything is working fine. Let's see my uh, accuracy for so you can see for my uh, test set I am get, getting pretty good uh, accuracy and it's 95 percent so I didn't overfit my model, so it's uh, doing pretty good. Okay, so it's time to see my data through graph. So let's do so. For I in range of let's say I want to see four images. Let's say I want to see nine images, and right out there. Plot dot figure and give out their fix size. Fix size equal to nine comma nine. This is the same. And here I want to have the prediction. So prediction equal to model dot predict. And here I'll get the prediction and give out there the x test out there. Now plot dot subplot subplot out there and give out there the three comma three and give out there i plus one plot in show give out there the image so x test give out there the ith element now i want to give the level plot dot x level out there so x level equal to uh, give out there class x. so where is my class yeah categories out there so categories and pass out there uh, y test equal to y test of i so this will be the my actual so actual level so right out there actual and right over there the predicted one so predicted pass categories and pass out there prediction of height now i want to argmax so numpy dot argmax out there of the prediction 
Okay. Did I input? Yeah. So I got level so plot dot x peaks out there. Keep out the blank and plot dot show. It's time to show in right. Let's see. And now it will I can cut this line that you can take laser time. Let's wait for the graph. And here is the prediction, and you can see out there. And this is the rows out there, and actual level is rows, and predicted level is rows. Oh, fine. And daisy out there, predicted level is also daisy. And rows out there, rows, daisy, daisy, rows, rows, dandelion, dandelion, and tulip. And it's tulip, but it's predicted as sunflower. So I got one of them as wrong. And dandelion, dandelion. So it's a pretty good model, I think. Uh, and accuracy is good, and it's uh, it's normalized too. So this is how you can create model to transfer for Keras and this is one of the way how you can create model. In the next tutorial or in future I will show you how to create model through making class. And if you like the video don't forget to subscribe to appreciate my video. Thanks for watching.